LED by my PC, and today I make another tutorial for the Sinforge GFX channel. So in today's tutorial, we're going to talk about the recolor tool, which is the tool right here says recolor, and it has the red circle and the blue circle. So what you can use it for is to change color, what colors from each other. And one area where it's useful is a scenario like this, where I have this graphic graphic that I made, and let's say that I want to change this light bluey color to a darker color. So I can use the recolor tool to change it as opposed to using the fill tool to go through it in each um, shape and fill it in individually. So, if I select the recolor tool, I'll, um, it'll, when I dra drag the brush over the, over the image, it'll change it from one, col one color, a secondary, to my primary or vice versa, depending whether left click or right click. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the color that I want to change, this light blue color, and then what I want to change it to, I'm going to make it a primary color. And I'm going to go and make the primary color darker because I want, I want it to become darker. So I'm going to set so my tolerance to zero. We're, we'll talk more about tolerance later. But so when I left click now, it'll change the the uh, every color that's this light blue color over to this darker color. So there you have it. It's a very easy way to, in this scenario to um, change a color. Also notice that I have my um, brush width very high, which is what you want to do for changing colors in a general sense like this. So the next other element to um, the, the color picker tool, or the, sorry, the recolor tool is a tolerance, which I mentioned earlier a little bit. So this is how how specific it's going to be. So here I had, or how general it's going to be when choosing colors. So right here I had zero, so it has to be exactly this blue color for it to change. If I made it higher, I might have changed my other bl bl bluey shade colors to to this primary color as well. Good way to illustrate this is if, if I made a gradient like so, and let's say I want to change just bl this blue color, or let's say I want to change green color. Sorry. So we have our secondary set to green, and this primary set to the color we want to change to. Let's say I want to change it to pink. And um, then by using the recolor tool, we can change all the green to pink. So now the tolerance is zero, so it only changes to pink if it's the pure green color that we have selected. So if we increase the tolerance, it'll be it'll be less strict on on what what's considered green. So now that area over here is tec technically isn't green; it's a little bit bluish now. But it was it still changed pink because we increased the tolerance of our color pickle. So 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 the, the farther you increase it. You can see the farther along the gradient, it'll change the color. So, um, one um use one area where you can use this is in photo manipulation. Like right here, I have a picture of Avatar Aang from Avatar: the Last Airbender. And let's say I want to change his arrow from the, this bluish color over to orange. So, I'll go ahead and select his the arrow color as the secondary color, and then I'll make the primary color, um. Uh, orangey color. All right. So now I'll go ahead and select the rec recolor tool, and I will recolor the arrow like so. So as you can see, we turn the whole person orange rather than just the arrow. And that's because we have the tolerance too high. Because even though um, the arrow is the only part that was blue, the tolerance is high enough for it to consider the other parts in a little blue as well. So I'll decrease the tolerance. And then, oh, now it's a little better. It only changed the head and the hand, but we, st but we still, still want to only change the arrow. So, if I put set down to three or so, you see now it only changed the arrow. But, but if you zoom in, you can see that it, the edges of it aren't have didn't change colors even though they're supposed to. So, whenever you're um, doing something like this, you got to be um, constantly changing the tolerance, trying to get the right about the right um, tolerance. So now I have it 15 or so, and still a little bit high, change the teeth, and then so a little 13. So just a lot of trial and error. And that's probably about as close as we're going to get. Another way of doing it is just to go to smaller brush width, and then you can just go along the arrow like so. And then his hand as well. So that was my tutorial on the recolor tool. Hope we found it useful. I'll see you guys next time.